colon cancer. The statistics show it's been documented that that is a lot lower in numbers. Yeah, come on up here. What's your name? Ken. And you're veggie friendly, right? Okay. Uh, it's known that uh, monks around the world that uh, are basically eating strictly vegan, they usually live a lot longer than the other population that aren't necessarily vegan. I'm talking about in, in like, uh, like in Eastern Europe as an example, guys do a lot of traveling and um, they, they're, they're healthier, they're, uh, statistically they're, they're healthier, they live longer. Um, so that, that's just a, like a living example, like if you want to call it like almost like a laboratory example. Uh, and I had one experience when I lived in Florida, I did have an, uh, I'm not raw now, I'm trying to go more in that direction, but I was, um, I went to a juice bar, and the chef there, I remember I started uh, doing like raw food, and I did experience the energy that this lady's talking about. It was great, but I remember I was like astonished, and I knew it was from my change in diet. And then I, I, went, I went home with some things happened, so I, my diet um, didn't go in that direction, and, and I'm going back in that direction again. That's been my life experience. And I don't, I stay away from animals. I still have the, uh, some, I'll eat like cheese and some fish, but I'm trying to get away from that too. So I am going in this direction. And you know, that's just my life. Thank you, Ken. You're welcome. All we are saying is give peace a chance, right? You see the slogan, give peas a chance, give carrots a chance, give lettuce a chance. Kale, kale is a superfood. All we are saying is give kale.